Good. Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to Dice Masters with James and Zach. Uh, except Zach's not here this time. Instead, we have Tabasco Rogue. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm, I'm a bit under the weather, to be honest, but I'll, I'll survive. I'm all right. So today, Tabasco Rogue, or Joe, is going to show us uh, an interesting combo, um, which involves... Oh, I shall show you his math. Uh, which involves Hela uh, from the Thor set and various nasty things. I think we'll leave it as a bit of a surprise because it's it's quite fun. So, without further ado, um, Tabasco, would you like action or energy? Oh, we'll take energy. It's action, so I get to All choose. Right. And um, I will, I'll let you go first. Go on, go for All it. All right, <clears throat> sounds great. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, sir. Okay, I will buy a big entrance straight to the bag. Okay, okay. Pass turn. I will flip that to a bolt using your Merlin Global and I will prep a shriek with that. Okay. Shield. Pass that. Uh, big entrance. Heimdall Global. And Shriek to the bag. Really good. Pass. Does she roll? No. <laughs> Obviously not. Um... Can't break tradition now. No, we might re-roll that, possibly. Yeah, could do with that, really, couldn't I? Come on, then. Ooh, free fielding. Oh, we'll shriek your shriek. shriek your shriek 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 and... Okay. I will... Any interesting globals for parallax? Mm -hmm. I will prep a Sandala because I can. Wait, wait, no, we've got. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. We've got Heimdall, haven't we? I'm just not used to playing with these things. Okay, so I'll prep a What's It, a Yanti, and I'll Heimdall. All right. And I'll pass turn. Two from the bag, everything back in. I think I'm actually going to keep this and I'm going to field sidekick and then I will rip a beholder. All right. Pass. Okay, okay. Pull that bag. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Not sure, I would say you are a very st statistical anomaly. I'm a consistent roller. <laughs> consistent <laughs> roller, absolute rubbish. Oh, there you go. What am I complaining? There it is. <clears throat> On its level three face, nonetheless. Yeah, nice. Okay. So we're going to need to feel that, and we're going to prep uh, D Wiz. All right. Pass to you. <clears throat> this should be nothing but sidekicks. Oh wait, I forgot about the big entrance. And there's a chance. Okay. So. I'll go ahead and re-roll here. All right, okay. and it's free filling too. 
And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Big Entrance. And I'm going to purchase another, or purchase a Madam Mask. Go straight to my bag. And then I'm going to Field Beholder. Now, this is the common beholder, which states that when it is fielded, I may use up to two different global abilities for free. So I'm going to use Odin's Fury from my fielded characters from the field zone until end of turn. Yep. And I'm also going to use Hella's Global, which targets a die in your field zone, prep area, or used pile, and then uh, returns it to its card. And you do the same for me. So I'm going to target your Shriek. Thanks. Um, and I will target your Shriek. All right. And then I will end the turn. Okay, fair is fair. Squid Pro Row. <laughs> there you go. Shriek for a Shriek. Uh, <clears throat> okay, All right. Okay, that's a good roll. There's always parallax. There's always parallax. Oops, hang on. Switch camera. Okay, I pulled. I think I had that in my prep and I pulled the four sidekicks. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess I I guess I skimmed the, the luck there. I'm parallaxing. Okay. Yes. Oh, thank God for this. Well, okay. So, beholder this time, I imagine. Okay. So I have no other choices. <laughs> and I'll clip this to a bolt. Prep a cube. Okay. Or should I get a shriek? I could get a shriek, but uh, probably want to keep that pressure on, eh? Hang on, let's see what's in the bag. So I've spent three energy. It could be a shriek or it could be a prepped cube. I'll get the shriek. I'll pass turn to you. All right. Have you frozen? You there? Oh. Can you see me? Uh, you're all right now. Well. Okay. Actually, yeah, it's breaking up a bit. What happened? Just keep playing. It's all right. We'll, we'll figure okay. it out. Pictures pixelating. Are we still good? Uh, I can hear you okay, and the pixels will probably sort themselves out in a minute. You can tell us what you rolled. I can see a okay, I rolled a uh, big entrance on its action face, and mana mask on her double mast, double mask, uh, shield and a fist. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to use the sidekick, or I'm going to use Merlin's global. Okay. Spin the sidekick down to its bolt face. I'm going to use big entrance. Right. And I'm actually going to see one, two, three, four, five. Huh. I'll just go ahead and uh, prep a collector. Wow. Okay. Cool. And then I shall pass turn. Okay. All right, three out, and oof, oof, <clears throat> lucky pull, or is it, and it rolled, look at that, that's unheard of, hmm. now, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to blame for this, not really the experts on these matters, but I think <coughs> you haven't actually bought Shriek, or you have unbought Shriek. Um, 
So I blank collector, what does that stop you do? do you, or I could blank Madam Mask, but then you're just going to shriek something. I don't want you to shriek. Or I could get a double shriek on, a double blank on uh, that fella, the holder. That sounds pretty good. Uh, and then you could collect her in a shriek, and you could blank one of the blanks. But and you could knock things out. Ooh, I, don't know. I think the title of the video should be Blankception. Blankety blank. <laughs> right. Um, well, I'm going to flip that to a bolt while I'm thinking, using your Merlin. Oops. Camera. Hello. There you go. And I'm going to buy a cube. That's what I'm going to do with that. And now I have to... Uh, okay. All right. I don't know what the best play is. I'm going to double blank your beholder. Um, if, I get okay. it, if I get it wrong, you've got a good chance of your combo, which is probably more interesting than my team. And if I get it right, then... I might win. Pass turn. That's two. fair. <clears throat> All right. Two sidekicks. Collector. <clears throat> and you blanked. He double blanked here, so I'm going to spin this one down to bolt and then use collector's ability mm -hmm. to purchase and field a collector at level one. To the holder. Doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm sorry, Balder, sorry. Doesn't do anything. I'm going to Heimdall Global. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to Tech. Oh, you brute. With a 4 3 and a 5 4. Okay. I'll block the real one and I'll let the invisible one through. Okay. Through. So it puts you down to 16. Yeah. Goes back to its card. And pass. Okay. Oop. Camera, sorry. Sidekicks plus the one that was knocked out. Oh, look at that. Jesus. Hmm. The rolls are treating you very well today. Yeah, I'm doing all right this time. Probably like another shield. I'll do that. If we do that, Star Labs, we got that. Hmm, maybe they make another shield. What's a mask going to get me? What have you got? What's threatening? Ooh, all sorts. Well. Alright. Star Labs. I do actually have Star Labs. <laughs> it's always good to check. Um, and a cube. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do much with a mask. I, think I can use a mask on. No. Parallax. Oh, there you go. I could flip that to a bolt, though. Yep. And get another cube. That's always a plus. Or I could do Heimdall, which I've totally forgotten again. That would work, wouldn't it? So this is what I paid for that. I could just do one Heimdall. I assume that's permissible, isn't it? Yes, it's up to. The wording is up to. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Actually, the wording is not that. It says you may prep two sidekick dice from your use pile. Does that mean if you've not got two, you can't do it? Good to know. I'm assuming so, but, I mean, the previous language before that on PXG was up, up, to, up to. So Which meant not zero. Strange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's a question for the rules forum mm -hmm. right there. Um, hum, 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 hum. I could. I'm going to flip that to a bolt and get a cube. We'll, we'll assume that I can't do Heimdall if I don't have 
two targets and I'll pass down to you. Alright. <clears throat> One out of the bag. Oh, I didn't do the scores. All right. While you're doing that, I'll just update the scores. Little fancy score overlay and just forget to do it. <laughs> all right, well, I'm kind of digging the all masks here. Wow. So this for that and that for that. Okay. So I'm going to Rip Hunter and Odin's Fury. Okay. What the hell and then I'm... <laughs> it has an actual effect. It, uh, I mean, plus two attack and plus one defense can go pretty far. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, then I'm going to use... Well, let's see here. Do I wait until next turn? Yeah, I'm going to have to. So I will just, for right now, I'm going to... Man, this is tough. Well, I must be doing something right at least then. The question is, is do I hold off and use Star Labs Global during your turn? To give myself some more ramp, or do I just buy a threat and swing in? Mm -hmm. That yeah. is the question. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and buy the threat. So oh. let's go Merlin mm -hmm. uh, with collector's ability. Unblockable three, is it? Unblockable three two. Yep. And then uh, go for three. All right. Not much I can do about that. Back to the card and pass. I don't really need this die, do I? If I'm doing overload, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that cosmic cube just might have you know have its way with me. So I'll just pull four sides. Turn off. One cube. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which is clearly not going to work. <clears throat> All right. Hum. What's your defenses like? What's your collector's defense? That's concerning. Uh, me. five. He's a five, and the beholder's a four. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. Some damage at least. So I will. I can either. Oh, I could. I've got two possibilities. Okay, so I can. I'm doing three damage, I guess. And, okay. Uh, I don't want to do your beholder. Uh, it's not going to do anything to your what's it. So I'll do it to you. Okay. Down to seventeen. Now, oops, yeah, scores. Now I either choose to buy. I can prep a cosmic cube and hope that I pull another two out. I've got six dice in the bag that could come out, or I can prep a Zandala. I think I'd like to prep a Zandala because two cubes, each cube is three plus another two is five. So with two cubes and two characters, is that ten? Am I getting that right? Plus an unblockable ah. ranty. So first cu first cube is three. Second, oh no no sorry. First cube is three. Second cube is five. So two characters would be sixteen. Uh, does that make sense? Yes. 
a tune plus two is three, and the second cube would be a tune plus two plus two, which is five. Together, that's eight per character. So if I had another a tune character, that would be 16, which would be lethal. Plus, she would be unblockable. Or, but then I might not get two cubes out, clearly. Or I can prep a cube and hope to pull at least one more. So that would do eight damage plus potentially three unblockable. If you don't ping around, that's 11. Not lethal. Or if I pull two cubes, that would be <laughs> 3 plus 5 plus 7, which is 15 plus unblockable, which is potentially lethal. I'd like That's to a lot of... buy a Zandala, because I like okay. Zandala. <laughs> it's a good odds. Yeah. A lot of pressure. Okay. All right. Let's turn to you. Three from the bag, and then I'm just going to pull a sidekick, since they're all sidekicks here. I like your team. Even when I shut your main stuff down, you've got you can still collect her in a Merlin with Odin's what? Oh well, see now here's the fun part of this whole equation is that uh, <clears throat> you know how you can buy a Zendala. Well, I can buy your Zendala as well, and since I have two dice on their action face, well, cool. that's a buff to team. So we're gonna go Meta Mask. and. Uh, I'm going to use Collector's Ability, pay one bolt, yep. to fill your Zandala. Yep. And then what's her level one face? Uh, she's a one three zero one three. Okay. I'll put it here for the sake of reference. All right. So I'm going to use Big Entrance, which is going to trigger her a tune, and I'm going to hit your... Dwarf Wizard for one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use Odin's Fury, and it also buffs my team. <clears throat> what buffs your team? And then I'm going to use uh, Zendala. What does she do? Is she the one that gives plus one, plus one? No, no, no. She's Wendala's symbol oh. would be KO'd. Instead, clear all damage from her if your opponent has any active. Damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was really going for the move. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I'll... Um... Man, that is so unfortunate. Is there a Zandala that does that? <laughs> yes. The, the, I believe it's the rare that gives... Uh, whenever you use an action, uh, she gives your team plus one attack to all your character dice. Isn't that it's really good. Isn't that 10,000? Uh, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. My mistake. My mistake. Well, that's okay. Oh, well. So we'll go... Um, we'll do Odin's Fury, and I'll target my sidekick, and then I'll finish off your dwarf wizard with the attune ability? Yes. So you got two defenders, and I've got a 3-2, a 4, 5, and you're at 13. Hmm. You know, why not? Let's go ahead and push for attacks. Because there's a good chance you may not roll that uh, Yanti. No, for sure. No. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. Uh, so there are four and a three and a... And a oh, and also Zendala's attacking as well. Uh -huh, okay. So she's a one. Yeah. And what have you got? Four, a three, and a five. That's twelve. Don't like that much. Jesus. Um... Hmm. Now, see, this is going to come down to me rolling stuff, <laughs> which is notoriously unreliable. Hmm. Yeah, I made the wrong purchase there. It would have actually been easier for me to do uh, Yanti Pure Blood, and then do all those shenanigans, uh -huh. because it would have at least been two unblockable damage uh -huh. for a push. Uh -huh. All right. So it would have made one one difference, really. Didn't it? Um, gosh, I'm not going to take a chance on that one. So I'll I'll block your um, doodah, beholder. Beholder. Okay. I'll let the rest of it through. <laughs> okay, so that's seven damage. Jesus. 
Oh, I actually eight with a Zandala. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's right. I'm on five. So that puts you at five, yeah. and I'm at seventeen. Mm, that's correct. I really need to roll things, pull things, and roll things. So she's gone. Gosh, it's all looking good. I'll put her back. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> See what comes out. Change the camera, James. One cube, not enough. Good. I don't have to worry about dying this turn. No, he definitely does. That's not really good, is it? That's all right. <laughs> oh, look at that. Zero fielding courses, yeah. That's great. So what are we blanking? Gosh, who knows? Probably beholder and collector, I would think. Take the fly. Phew. Two defense, not great. Uh huh. I don't like the idea that you can just whip things in. Okay, so you've got sidekicks in the bag. You're getting four sidekicks. So the most yep. you could do is collect her in something gross. Hmm. Okay. So I need two. Oh, if I had one more energy, that'd be handy. So I'll fill them for... Oh, there's Heimdall as well. God, if I did have another energy, that'd be quite nice. Maybe. What's the play here? I'll f f f f field them. I think I'll do it like that. For one. Blanking your two characters, I think. That you have in the field. Okay. So which one which one is which so that I can Um let's say D Wiz is they're both two defense. Oops, your your screen's gone blank. You still there? Oh no, it's it's one of is there a, there's gonna be a gorilla grod appearing on screen when it comes back. Uh, oh, you're back! Thank God. No, no gorilla grod. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, now I lost you. <laughs> I lost your video. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm... Okay. Okay. Can you see me at all? Uh, not right now. Unfortunately, not. Okay. Uh, the video is good. You might have to play, <laughs> play it blind for a minute. Uh... Hang on. There we go. We're well, back. We're we back. Oh, that's great. Okay. okay. And no Gorilla Grodd appeared. So let's just say um, Beholder is D-Wiz and Shriek is, uh, what's his name? Collector. Okay. Um, and I will do, I was going to do something. Ah, okay. Um, I was going to do that. Heimdall. And I was going to do six damage to you. Ouch. Down to 11. Yeah, that sounds about right. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And, and nothing, probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, pass turn. Do your worst. Oh, I just messed up the camera again. Okay, so, <laughs> so I blanked with the two <laughs> blankers and I used a cube which did three, one plus two damage through each attuned character, which is six damage to his face. And I All right. Left that there. And I did Heimdall Global. Okay, pass turn. There's just some sidekicks. All right. Um. I need. What do I need here? If I shriek, so I prep a shriek. I'm at 11. If I KO those two, okay. 
So, field sidekick. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. I, I do need to reroll. Let me just reroll this one right here. Not desirable. Okay. There's always parallax. Uh, yeah, there is. No, I need this to to help me out here. Um, see, so you've got one cube, which is going to be dealing me another six. Yeah. And if I pull another cube, that'll be it. But I, they probably won't. Let's be honest. I've got two in the bag, I think. Two in the bag. So two out yeah, of six. I can't, two out of seven. I can't risk that. This is a do or die kind of situation here. Oh, let's see, I've got one in the bag. Mm, 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 mm. You'll probably be alright. Right. I'm not going to pull another cube, pull another and I'll not roll either of them. So you'll be perfectly safe. Well, you're getting at least one cube because it's in your bag. So what I'll do is, yeah, I'll leave myself open. It may be the game, but that's okay. Um, I'm actually going to shriek. I'm going to rip a shriek. One. And then I'm going to KO these two, and since the Tomb Guardian is uh, being proxying for our rare Amber Golem, okay. I'm going to fabricate to gain two life, putting me up to 13. Wow, super. Good one. And then I'll pass turn. All right. So this way there's a chance that I can hit multiples and, you know, make it ahead if I don't lose next turn. Oh, I've only got five life. I think it's good play. There's that. Two more. <laughs> Hold your breath. No whammy. No <laughs> whammy. Oh my god. Oh. I'm very sorry. I just well, that never happened. Womp womp. No, yeah. that's fine. And I, I mean, the game's around the court. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a great moment as well. I, um, I, I just pulled. What did I have? I had. Uh, one and you had that. you pulled the cube and a sidekick and then you pulled two more cubes yeah, out that, of the bag. That was Heimdall. That was in my bag, and then I refilled my bag from this pile, and I managed to pull both cubes out of a total of six dice. Never let it be said that I can't pull. Rolling. There you go. Hand. <laughs> but we have got parallax, so we should be alright. That should be pretty deadly, I think. Two cubes is. Uh, three and five for each. That's sixteen. Plus you've got an open field. Oh, I feel bad. Your <laughs> no, no, don't. <laughs> Your combo was much better. Um, but I think I think we saw the potential. Uh, I think if you're not going up against, I had reasonably lucky rolls for a change, and I had two two blankers going on. Yeah, I was kind of, uh, I was a little bit reckless with that Zandala play. Like I said, the, the correct play should have been uh, purchase your Yanti and then do the same, go through the same motions, but Odin's Fury of the Yanti so that way I can get in for four damage and still have the majority of my field up. Mm -hmm. And that way, on this turn, um, you would have gotten me down a lot, but I still would have been alive thanks to blockers. No, I think if I was just lucky to pull those, you know, if 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 I have those two cubes, that's that's sixteen. Um, oh yeah. So it doesn't doesn't really matter that your field is open. I think that was a good play. I think that was that was a good because um, I could well not have pulled either of those. I did have energy for parallax, so I probably would have rolled something eventually. But I might well not have had lethal. I just had that, and I just luckily pulled those two those two dice out of the bag. But they were good games. We were both able to explore. Uh, of a majority of our teams so yeah actually the the tricky thing you could do with odin's fury is um since you have merlin and collector let's say you're in a position uh you're on an advantage and um so you have collector and on your turn you just you roll the odin's fury and then you beef up your merlin to be swinging for five guaranteed mm -hmm. um and so, I mean, it's a it's a win-win. So you get use out of all your cards and not just, oh, that's only there for the global. 
I like it. I like your team. I have to say, I should say, like we played a couple of games before this. I was playing a different team, and he utterly controlled me. <laughs> it was um, the the combo. If I think just because I had a couple of blankers, which is um, that's what I think I might do against Super Rare Yankee. I think that might be a reasonable strategy. Definitely, yeah, definitely D Wiz and and Shriek up against. Uh, you know, we talked about it at length in Discord. The the proper way to you know, kind of get the edge on super rare anti is to to have both D Wiz and Shriek, and you go Shriek first, and then you go, um, are you D Wiz first, and then you Shriek later? Although there's nothing to stop them having two blankers, <laughs> they probably have space for it. I think Scum, correct. Scum has been working on a more efficient thing, so he can leave more spaces. But uh, <clears throat> at least it makes a game of it, and unfortunately that that interferes with your combo. But when I didn't have two blankers, he totally owned me. Um, it's an extreme so here's impressive combo. Something you, something you mentioned um, while we were testing out those two games is that um, just doing the Hella Global Raw, um, you know, just having a six energy can trip you up a bit, but it also makes the game a lot longer. There's, uh, you know, both of those games lasted a good 10 to 15 minutes longer because we, we did Hella Globals uh, with just six energy and we didn't really purchase any dice or anything like that. Yeah. Um, your team against something which involves uh, big purchases like uh, Mr. Fixit or Ultraman is is um, spirit crushing, frankly. <laughs> Spe <laughs> spending six energy or maybe seven to prep a Mr. Fixit and then having it return to the card is not what you want to see. Um, good. Anyway. And, uh, and, uh, Sorry, go on. Yep. No, the Amber Golem is really what makes the difference in those aggressive games. Had I been a little bit uh, more aggressive with my Amber Golem purchase, I would have been back up to a, a healthy life total for your swings, your big swings, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would have been able to constantly recycle from the uh, from the prep area those dead characters or those blanked characters, basically. Yeah, you got a lot of threat. I like that too, and uh, we probably should play again so you can really show what it can do. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Tabasco, I better go and get my family up. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's uh, been fun. <clears throat> and uh, see you soon. Um, I'm just going to stop the recording. We can we can have a chat after I finish. Where's me? All right. Bye-bye, everybody.